What's this, take five now? Yeah, that's take five. Take five. Take five. Take five. <laughs> hey everybody, this is Driftwood with Fighting 99, and this is... I'm Promo. What are you with? I'm with the Fighting 99 as well. He does all our tech stuff, check that out. Uh, Promo also is a pretty good Blanca player, but not in this game. No, definitely not in this game. He plays ST as an old man game, whatever. Yeah, so I'm an old man. <laughs> I bring him over here to be my training dummy when I want to show you guys out there some stuff. Um, and that's kind of what I'm going to do today. This is just a quick video to show some tech that I learned in California that people in other states don't know about. When I moved back here to, to AZ, uh -huh. I was surprised that people hadn't caught on or couldn't figure it out. And I quickly kind of made it a priority to let everyone know because it was just like, it was too free. Yeah, because you'd be, and you'd be a jerk to keep it that tech to yourself. Yeah, I don't do that. I'm, yeah. I'm a giver. Yeah. Giver.jpg. <laughs> it's an old internet reference. Don't look it up. <laughs> no, please. Oh, you better uh, censor that. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, right? No, yeah, we're not going to talk okay. about it. <laughs> <That's me. laughs> okay. Anyways, the tech that I'm going to talk about today is called Delay Offensive Crouch Tech. That's what I've heard it called. It makes sense. It's a really bad yeah, it's, title. Yeah, it's quite the mouthful there. Yeah. It, it, what's, what is the abbreviation? Doc, Doc T? Uh, why don't you come up with a more snappy name? This is called Driftwood Secret Tech, and I invented it. Okay, I like that name. Drift Tech. It's, it's straight to the point. I'm a, it's give them the wood. Oh, I like that. Yeah. The give them the wood. <laughs> I didn't invent this, <laughs> but I did perfect it. And he named it. Yeah, anyways. What you're going to do is you're going to knock your opponent down on uh, any kind of knockdown where you can get close enough to do a uh, meaty pressure on their soft or hard wake up. Uh huh. Well, maybe we should uh, blow up the game so they can see what we're talking about. That's a good idea. Let's do that one. All right. So we can still be it. Because, you know, we're, yeah. we're pretty faces. We dressed uh -huh. up. Of course. Yeah, I'm wearing my finest black t shirt with band logo. <laughs> I don't have a v neck on. I'm sorry for letting you guys down. Oh, but you have the. You have I have the, it open. Yeah, you have it open. That's, That's practically a v neck. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, back to the point. What I'm going to do is throw you. And uh, I'm going to show what would happen if you uppercut and I did a regularly timed meaty. Okay? Okay. So oh, just uppercut. This sure is really squeaky. I can't even do it. I'm too good at this tech. One more time. Okay. So you see, Chris got the reversal uppercut, and I got hit for trying to do a crotch light kick. Um... Oh, how soft. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, it's take five, and one of the takes... It, it hey, actually is take five. Hey, hey, let's not talk about it. No, we're going to talk about it. Chris broke my chair. <laughs> it's like a 50-year-old chair. Yeah. It's probably filled with asbestos. Whatever. Whatever. So how do I get around this problem of an uppercut hitting me? Well, obviously, I could block. So try to uppercut. Sweet, I blocked it. But if I block and you throw, so throw me, I get thrown. Nothing seems to be perfect. Right? Yeah. So, the pro the, actually what's cool though is there is an option that can protect against both. What you have to do is do a crouch tech roughly four frames after your opponent gets up. And it varies depending on reversal. Um, some reversals are five frames, some are three. But you always have to press the button after their uppercut would hit you. And if you do it correctly, this is what will happen. Uppercut. You need to get reversal. All right. You can see I am hitting a button, uh, it's crouch tech, and I'm able to block this uppercut. The uppercut comes out in three frames, and I haven't hit anything yet, forces me into block stun, and then I press the button, which cannot come out because I'm in block stun. Therefore, I don't get hit, right? But we still need to guard against throw. So what we do is we use crouch tech. Crouch tech is like the most, um, I'm not even gonna talk about it, but it's an option yeah. select as well. You guys are probably familiar with this one. If not, I'll make a video and you guys can, uh, can tell me to make that. Hey, what's an option select? Oh, it's a thing that like is in high level Street Fighter. It's not in Street Fighter 2 though, because that game is not high level. Except with T-Hawk, it's high level. Those, don't those kill me. Words. Don't kill me. Please don't quit. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'll buy you Mexican food. All right. Sweet. Cool. Um, what I'm gonna do now is the exact same timing or at least I'm going to try to. It might yeah. take a few tries. Um, where I hit crouch tech, 
and would have blocked an uppercut. But what I want you to do is wake up a throw instead. Yeah. So I'm able to, t to tech this. Uh -huh. I'm so excited I can't even speak. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I've eliminated two of my opponent's wake up options. That's super good. If you're facing a Ryu who's got two meters, sometimes you're scared to pressure. And you might stand here because you just don't want to deal with the uppercut that's coming. Right? Yeah. Or you might try to backdash to bait it out. But you're just uncertain. If in the match you're able to figure out that your opponent doesn't know how to get around this technology, there's absolutely no risk to go and, you know, do this. Yeah. You're either gonna block their uppercut and punish, block their uppercut, and then they're gonna use two bars to make it safe and still probably punish. Um, or, you know, just get a meaty crouch light or a less than meaty crouching light kick and just continue into blocks and like. So if you do nothing, this is what happened. Big deal. Yeah. Right? It's confirmable. I can continue other options from it. You know? Uh huh. Um, super good. But we do have to talk about kind of what it will lose to. Uh huh. So the first thing uh, is if you just wake up jab. Okay. So you see, you get the jab out before I'm able to hit a button, and now pressure's kind of on your side. It's not terrible, but I mean, it really sucks having your one wake up, you know, opportunity to do some damage on them just taken away by a, a jab. Yeah. Um, that's something you can do. Theoretically, you can also neutral jump, but I don't think it's the best option, but try it. You see? Yeah, definitely so, not. No, it's not the best option. But I mean, if you know this is gonna happen, maybe you can forward jump Tatsu out. Yeah. Character specific, I just wanna throw it out there. Um, because they're pressing light kick by the time you'd already be in the air. Yeah. Um, you can also backdash, which I don't think is a smart option if you're cornered. But it's backdash. So you're gonna get hit, but you see what happens is uh, I'm hitting a button when you're already in your backdash frames. The invincibility frames have run out. So you get aerial reset as opposed to an option select coming out. If I did a normal option select medium, something like this would happen. Oh, backdash. See? Uh huh. And if I was not bad, it would hit you. Yeah. Um, but again, if you do it from when I'm doing delay tech, just an arrow reset. 20 points of damage to get out of Fei Long pressure, you know, that can be life or death in uh -huh. pretty much every round. Um, so that's the tech, guys. It's delay offensive crouch tech. You'll see people like Daigo, Momochi, uh, Chris T does this all the time. Uh, I do it all the time. It's super good, and I hope it kind of helps you out. Can you think of anything else that I need to... Um... I think we're good. All right. Well, expect more videos like this in the future. Uh, they're going to be up on Fighting99.com. And you can hear about them on our Twitter, which is at the Fighting 99 And if you want to see some cool Instagram pics, just start our Instagram. That's hip. Oh, yeah. People do that now. Instagram. Yeah. No, they, they do. That's what all the cool kids do. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, if you guys want to see us try to be cool, follow us. More tech incoming.